Well, Wally here. Guys, this. Beautiful little package is the Winchester Adventurer Canvas Bed Roll, okay? I love it. Let's have a look. This is it, guys. The, the Winchester Adventure Bed Roll. Adventurer Bed Roll. Uh, let me, this is it all nice and rolled up. This has nothing inside it except there's no, there's no bed or anything. Hey, bro. Are you going? Go get a stick. Go get a stick. Good job. There's nothing in it, guys. This is just it itself, okay? And it is quite a neat little package when you roll it up like this. Now, these are not the straps uh, that come with it. I think the newer ones have straps, guys. This one, I bought these straps aftermarket uh, to, 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 on, on eBay for like a tenner. And they're excellent. Czech Army straps or something they're called. Away, Bruno. Go. Bring your stick away. So, let's open it up and have a look. That's it. <laughs> That's it, guys. That is it. No, 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 no. You stay off. Sit, 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 Bruno. Sit, sit. Good job, guys. It's two parts: the bed roll and a pole. Okay. Now, the pole slots into these little, these little things here. Goes through this sleeve and lifts the bed roll up off your face. I forgot to bring the pole. Okay, what is it? Let's... One of the best things about this, guys, is it is absolutely bomb proof, right? I like using this if the dogs are staying because this is what dogs do to your bed rolls, okay? This is what they do when you have a bed layout, laid out in the ground. They walk on it, they they lie on it, they do these things. Can you get off me please? Go away, go away, go get a stick. Go get, go get a stick Bruno. Guys, so, you're a good dog, you're a good dog. You're a good dog too, get off now, that's enough. Ah, ah, away, 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 good dog, go. Bring it away, bring it away. Okay, let's go over the specs, guys. So this is 220 centimeters long, it's 90 centimeters wide, and its height when it has the pole in it is 50 centimeters, okay? It's made, it weighs four kg, all right? It is made from 12 ounce British canvas, okay? And it is, as they describe it, robust, breathable, water and rot resistant, flame retardant guys and it has a bug net in it now what does all that mean guys this thing feels incredibly tough okay it's like it it, it is reassuringly well built all right it is just Heavy duty in everywhere, absolutely everywhere. Big, big, thick canvas material, heavy duty, heavy duty uh, stitching, heavy duty zips, guys. You know, it has this bug net at, at the top here as well. Guys, this thing, it has, sorry, it actually even has a, key, uh, a little area here on the inside where you can put your clothes in to make a pillow and stuff. Guys, it is unlined on the bottom in that it's just canvas onto the ground and not PVC like other ones, like, like the outhouse swag. But guys, I have never even found that to be an issue. This thing is massive, okay, massive. You know, two people at, a, at, a, at a, a stretch would get into this, two small people like me, definitely two children would get into this, guys, no problem. It is, It has a slightly bucketed feel to it, okay? 
but it's not stitched that way guys this is class it's absolute class now they retail at 499 pounds guys but this is something that you buy once all right this is something that just oozes well handmade well made handmade quality it just has that all about it okay now i'm going to get into it for you guys there's not really any real point uh, there, there's not really do you know i just might as well you know i'm sure i'm going to get attacked by a dog as well guys when it when it comes to the winter and when it comes to me sleeping outside in the winter not in a shelter or anything just with a just you know under a tarp or even just laying out in the woods i pick this i take this with me i've been out in this in minus 10 degrees okay it is you know it it just feels comforting it, you, you know what i mean don't you this thing is huge it's huge it's absolutely huge and it rolls up surprisingly small This is about the height that it stands up to. And guys, there's a mesh, there's a mesh right here, so that when you have it in, when you're in it, and you lie like this, you still have a bit of ambient light coming in, and you have Bruno as well. Okay, guys, it's configured, it's configured in such a way that when you have the poles on it, Bruno, away with you, go on. You can still flop the whole thing down like that. The velcro is sticking to my hat. You can still flop the whole thing down like this, so you can get in and out of it quite easy, guys. Which is which is the same, the same as the the U.S. Marine Corps uh, bivy, and I love that style. Do you know what I mean? It's 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 very very handy, uh, guys. This is one of these pieces of equipment that I have always wanted, always wanted from my first got into bushcraft. I always wanted one of these. Sorry, sorry, waterproof zips as well. Guys, all this. I looked, I saw one of these and I went, oh my god, they look amazing. Right. 500 pounds is a lot of money. It's a lot, a lot of money, guys. And I did not pay 500 pounds for this. I paid 100 pounds for this. A guy was selling it on the Bushcraft Trade Post on Facebook uh, maybe two years ago, maybe even longer, guys. And I snapped it up, okay? These can also be used as a hammock. They have sleeves on the end for a hammock, but I have never used it in, in that configuration, guys. Okay, so. This, overall, I am completely, completely impressed with this. Uh, I, I'm glad I bought it. It's just one of those absolutely top quality things. It's, it's like you might maybe use it five times a year and still would never consider selling it. Do you know what I mean? Uh, if you get a chance to pick one up or if you are in the market for them, guys, I would highly recommend them. Now, I, I've never waterproofed it or reproofed it or anything. Uh, I have slept quite close to fires with it and everything and it's, it's never been an issue. Uh, and, you know, and I, last year I actually just set this up over in the forest and I left it up for a good while with my sleeping bags and everything in it and everything just zipped up and even after a couple of weeks and a couple of heavy rain showers it was still it was still dry on the inside you know what I mean so it's brilliant guys what can I say I love it I absolutely love it and it it is going to be in a few more videos coming up uh, you know in the next while because we're getting into winter and stuff hey Bruno now you're a good dog you've calmed down stop sit good dog guys Thanks for watching. <laughs> You're a good dog too, Kuda. Thanks for watching, guys. Do you know, somebody said that in one of the comments that I should stop letting my dogs interrupt my reviews. <laughs> That's the point. <laughs> good dog. Guys, thanks for watching. Stay frosty. <laughs>